and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, July 7th, 2016. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Thank you for your patience with that. So as regular viewers well know, we always start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index, and for that we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and we're looking at it on a five-year monthly time frame, paying particular attention to the blue channel that the Russell traded within through all of 2014, had this little uptick up and out in early 15, the subsequent sell-off, and here's where we are right here right now. So we're right back in the channel. We are nearing the upper blue band. Uh, but we are keeping an eye on this candlestick formation from the month of June, which is a doji, as we explained in Tuesday's video. That is an undecided candle. Price is deciding which way it wants to go, either higher or lower. So we're paying particular attention to the candle that we get here in the month of July. Here is the look so far. It's still very early in the month, but uh, we're keeping a close eye on that. I'm going to move it away from the monthly chart to the two-year weekly so we can better see how price is behaving here. We've identified these areas of support and resistance, area number one and area number two. Um, you can see how price pierced our upper blue band in several weeks ago. Price was rejected there sold off but we had a surprisingly strong week last week and uh, a nice healthy looking candle on the Russell right in between our areas of support so we want to see the we're we're waiting to see how the candle looks this week uh, whether we get a push higher uh, something that would complement the bullish nature of last week's candle or uh, price rejection again so we're just sitting tight and waiting to see the candle that forms this week. Um, as I'm filming this, it's about 7.30 on Thursday morning. The futures are looking a little soft. Having said that, Europe traded higher. The British pound found some support. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, in the US markets today. I'm gonna move it away from the two-year weekly to the nine-month daily. So again, we can see how price is behaving here. Those are the same areas of support. On the daily chart, um, we use this blue line, which is the eight-day EMA, as our guide. We like to see price up and over the blue line, the eight-day EMA. And uh, the Russell had a strong day yesterday, so it is trading up and over that eight-day. But we want to see how the candle shapes up for the week. <clears throat> so with that, I'm keeping today's video short. Um, keep in mind that there's that jobs report coming out tomorrow uh, in the U.S. that ought to be an important data point for the markets. Thanks very much and have a great weekend.